ओके वन सेकेंड गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल ऑफ यू सो इन मॉर्निंग लेक्चर वी हैव कवर्ड दी एनर्जी एक्सचेंज बाय रेडिएशन बिटवीन टू ग्रे सर्फेसेस मीन्स वी हैव टू कंसिडरिंग दी टू सर्फेसेस एंड फॉर दैट वी हैव कैलकुलेटिंग दी वॉट इज दी वैल्यू ऑफ सर्फेस रेजिस्टन्स देन वॉट इज दी वैल्यू ऑफ स्पेस रेजिस्टन्स ओके वॉट एवर दी सर्फेस इज देअर एंड हिट ट्रांसफर इज टेक्स प्लेस ड्यू टू दी रेडिएशन एट दैट टाइम विच फैक्टर अपोजिस that factor is nothing but resistance due to the surface okay and then heat transfer is takes place from one surface to other surface and in between these two surfaces and there is a space there is a space so we have to calculate the space resistance we have to calculate the space resistance so for that now we have to take the derivation for the calculation of the space resistance so in the morning lecture we have calculated the value of the surface resistance so for that we have considering the different terminologies that is what is meant by irradiation irradiation is nothing but it is denoted by capital g and what is the definition of the irradiation it is defined as the total radiation incident upon a surface per unit time per unit area ji ka radiation ekada surface varti incident hunar hai per unit area per unit time that is nothing but irradiation and it is expressed in watt per meter square okay so this is about the irradiation after that we have discussed about the radiosity radiosity is denoted by capital j and it is defined as the total radiation leaving a surface manje ekada surface madun ji ka radiation sodun janar hai tya surface la kiwa tya surface madun bahir padnar hai that is nothing but radiosity so in that radiation the different radiations are there means emitted radiations are there and reflected radiations are there रिफ्लेक्टेड म्हणजे काय होणार आहे जी काय रेडिएशन इन्सिडेंट होणार आहे त्यातली थोडी रेडिएशन काय होत असतात रिफ्लेक्ट होत असतात आणि इमिटेड म्हणजे काय असणार आहेत जो काय आपण सर्फेस कन्सिडर केलेला आहे त्याच्यामधून जी काय रेडिएशन इमिट होणार आहेत दॅट इज नथिंग बट इमिटेड रेडिएशन सो रेडिओस इट इज नथिंग बट इट इज द सम ऑफ द इमिटेड रेडिएशन फ्रॉम द सर्फेस प्लस रिफ्लेक्टेड रेडिएशन फ्रॉम द इन्सिडेंट रेडिएशन सो फ्रॉम दॅट वी गेट द इक्वेशन एज ए जे इज इक्वल टू ई प्लस रो रो इन टू जी दिस ई इज नथिंग बट capital e is nothing but emitted radiation and rho into g is nothing but reflected radiation so this rho into g that value or that equation is arised from the equation of the reflectivity because reflectivity is nothing but reflected radiation upon incident radiation so from that we get the reflected radiation is nothing but reflectivity into incident radiation so we get the equation as a rho into g then we have written the equation for the net energy leaving from that surface okay so for that we have written the equation q by a because j and g having unit is watt per meter square so we have to take the q by a so q by a is having also unit is watt per meter square so j is nothing but that much amount of heat is leaving from the surface and g is nothing but that much that much amount of radiations are incident on the surface and that difference is nothing but net energy leaving from the surface so we get the equation number 1 that is q by a is equal to j minus g this is the equation number 1 okay so already we know the equation of j is equal to e plus rho into g and e miss e is nothing but so we know the what is the standard equation of the emissivity that is e upon eb so from that we get the e is equal to epsilon into eb okay and we know the for the gray surfaces opaque body is there then we know the one standard equation that is alpha plus rho plus tau is equal to 1 so for the opaque surface tau is equal to 0 so from that we get the equation rho is equal to 1 minus alpha so we have to put it by the kirchhoff's law alpha is equal to epsilon so therefore rho is equal to 1 minus epsilon rho is equal to 1 minus epsilon okay so from equation 2 we have to putting that value into equation 2 so we get the equation of j is equal to 1 minus rho into g plus rho in, uh, epsilon into eb okay and from the simplification we get the equation for the capital g so capital g is no, nothing but capital j minus epsilon into eb divided by 1 minus epsilon now we have to put it that value into equation number 1 so from that we get the equation for the q so q is equal to eb minus j divided by 1 minus epsilon divided by epsilon into a so this is the rate of heat transfer due to the radiation okay due to the radiation you have to comparing this equation with the ohms law so we know that equation for the ohms law that is i is equal to v by r so by comparing these two equations 
we get the analogy between these parameters. That is, I is analogous to Q, V is analogous to E B minus J, and R resistance is analogous to one minus epsilon divided by epsilon into A. So this resistance is analogous. That value is one minus epsilon upon epsilon into A. This is nothing but surface resistance. Surface resistance is nothing but one minus epsilon divided by epsilon into a one minus epsilon divided by epsilon into a okay so that part we have covered in the morning lecture that is the surface resistance what is the equation for the surface resistance maje ekada surface varun jika radiation emit honar hai tar tyala kahi tar tela oppose honar hai to oppose manje resistance asnar hai how to calculate that resistance one minus epsilon divided by epsilon into a 1 minus epsilon divided by epsilon into a okay now we have to calculate this space resistance yes sir present the screen now earlier slide yes sir earlier slide okay so next we have to write down radiation r moving already we have calculated the surface resistance and that value is nothing but 1 minus epsilon divided by epsilon into a now we have to calculate the space resistance manje don plates hai tan tyachya madhe jo radiation hot astil tar tyachya madhe jo kay space hai tyachya mule kay honar hai ek resistance create honar hai and for that resistance we have to calculate the equation okay so now we have to Write down one statement. Radiation R moving to space. Radiation R moving to space. Radiation R moving to space. Moving to space. So now, so now, find out the space resistance. Now find out the space resistance. Now find out the space resistance. Okay. Radiation space मधुन पर move होना रहेगा, so we have to find out the space resistance. Okay, so for that we have to consider the two plates are there. So at the outer side of these two plates we have to put it as a insulation. So only heat transfer takes place from inside surface of the two plates. Okay, what is the meaning of that? Hatched lines that is insulation is there. So only heat transfer takes place from the inside surface. Okay, so give the name for plate number one as a plate number one, plate number two. Some radiation are emitted from the plate number one. Some radiations are emitted from the plate number two. Okay, so what is the area for the plate number one? A one. Temperature for the plate number one is T one, and emissivity of the plate number one is epsilon one. Okay. Similarly, for plate number two, we have to write down the A two as the area. Epsilon two is the emissivity of the plate two. And T two is nothing but temperature of the plate two. Okay, so all of you draw this diagram. So for this particular geometry, we have to calculate the space resistance. मतलब plate one में तो जिसका radiation emit होना रहता है, plate two वर्ती strike होना रहता है. पर हाँ जो space है, त्या space में तो कहीं तरह radiation loss होता है still. क्यों वह कहीं तरह oppose होता है still. So because of some incidents, the oppose will be takes place in between the space. So for that, we have to calculate the space resistance. What is the equation for the space resistance? Okay, so all of you draw this diagram: a one t one epsilon one, a two t two epsilon two. Plate one, plate two is there, and out at the outside of these two plates there is the insulation. That that is the meaning of the hatched lines at the outer side of the plate one and at the outer side of the plate two. Okay, yes sir. Next slide. Okay, so already we have derived the equation in the form of shape factor. The kind of the lecture upon get little. In yesterday's lecture, we have derived the equation for the Q one. Okay, in the form of shape factor. Okay, so what is the equation that is in the form of shape factor? We have written there that is a one into 
a1 into shape factor into sigma t1 raised to 4 minus t2 raised to 4. So this is the net heat transfer between two surfaces. If the black bodies are there, if two black bodies are there, what is the standard equation a1 into f1 to 2 sigma t1 raised to 4 minus t2 raised to 4. This is the equation for the black bodies. So in this case, we have to consider in the gray bodies. So instead of emissive power, we have to consider the radiosity. We have to consider the radiosity because radiosity is nothing but total radiation leaving from the surface. So we have to take the total radiation that is for the gray bodies. So instead of Eb, we have to take the J1. So Q1 is equal to what? Q1 is equal to A1 into shape factor into J1. Okay. So all of you write down the equation for Q1 and Q2. So Q1 is equal to A1 F1 to J1 and Q2 is equal to A2 F21 J2. Q2 is equal to A2 F21 J2. Okay. So next line, net energy leaving surface 1 and striking on 2. Okay. Yeah, the only equation on upon find out kernel about to find out the net energy leaving. Okay. So net energy leaving from the surface one and striking on surface two. And striking on surface two. Okay. So how to find out the net energy that is Q12 is equal to Q1 minus Q2. Okay. Q1 minus Q2. That is nothing but net energy. That is nothing but net energy. Okay. So we have to put the values of Q1 and Q2. So Q1 to 2 is equal to Q1 minus Q2. So now we have to put the values of Q1 and Q2. So what is the value of Q1? That is A1 F1 to J1 minus A2 F21 J2 minus A2 F21 J2. Okay, so this is the net energy. How to calculate the net energy that is Q1 minus Q, Q2. So already we know the equations for the Q1 and Q2. That is Q1 is equal to A1 F1 to J1 minus Q2 is nothing but A2 F21 J2. Okay, so right on the next line. But by reciprocity theorem, but by reciprocity theorem, but by reciprocity theorem theorem so already we have written the reciprocity theorem so what is the equation of the recipro reciprocity theorem that is a1 f12 is equal to a2 f21 okay what is the equation for the reciprocity theorem a1 f12 is equal to a2 f21 Okay, if A1 and F1 to or A2, F2 to F21 is the same, then we have to take that factor as a common. So what is the remaining factor at the uh, in the bracket that is Q12 is equal to A1, F12 into bracket J1 minus J2. So now A1, F1, to A2, F2, F2 as a cell. Then we have to take that factor as a common. So what is the remaining term in the equation that is J1 minus J2. Okay, J1 minus J2. So we have to write the equation. Then we have to write the equation in the form of Ohm's law. Ohm's law kasa lehte apun sanga I is equal to dV upon R. The current kasha mo flow the to factor apun numerator la lehta stoy. And because of what, which factor opposes the current, that factor we have written at the denominator. In that manner, we have to write down the equation. Maji current la Current kasham, uh, heat kasham mo flow on our because of this difference of the radiosity j1 minus j1 to difference and because of that difference heat transfer is takes place and remaining factor will oppose the heat transfer and that factor we have to take at the denominator. So what is the value at the denominator that is 1 upon a1 into f12. Okay, next slide. Okay, so Q12 is equal to A1 F12. So we have that value same. So therefore we have taken as a common and the remaining term we have to written in the bracket that is J1 minus J2. 
So we have to write this equation in the form of Ohm's law. So that is Q12 is equal to J1 minus J2 divided by 1 upon A1 F12. 1 upon A1 F12. Okay. So we have to compare this equation with the Ohm's law. Ekada equation, at the Hikas system, a heat transfer system, and Ohm's law manje current tree system. Okay, current transfer system. These two systems are different systems are there. We have to comparing these systems. Manje Javela Ekadi system upon electrical systems she compare Kurte, Telas Kayaman Lazate, electrical analogy as a month Lazate. Manje electrical system with Lejika parameter, right? The heat transfer system with the JK parameter, right? Hinchamadi Kai relation, Hinchamadi Kai similarity. That is nothing but electrical analogy. That is nothing but electrical analogy. Okay. So comparing with Ohm's law, the Q2 is so all of you write down I is equal to B upon R. I is equal to upon R. Now we have to compare these two equations. Q122 is equal to J1 minus J2 divided by 1 upon A1 F12. So we have to compare this equation with the Ohm's law. Okay, I is equal to V upon R. Which is a current flow, not a heat flow. So Q12 is analogous to what? I. Okay, write down. So Q12, Q12 is analogous to, Q12 is analogous to, I is analogous to I is analogous to I. Then next line J1 minus J2 J1 minus J2 is analogous to is analogous to V that is voltage. Voltage difference more current flow thus there. And the reduce it to difference more heat flow. So therefore J1 minus J2 is analogous to V, then 1 upon A1 F12 is analogous to R. And this R is nothing but resistance. This resistance opposes the heat transfer. So this is nothing but space resistance. Okay. So 1 upon A1 F12 is analogous to R. 1 upon A1 F12 is analogous to R. Okay, so therefore R space is equal to space resistance is equal to 1 upon A1 F12. Okay, so all of you write down what is the equation for the space resistance? R space is equal to 1 upon A1 F12. R space is equal to 1 upon A1 F12. R space is equal to 1 upon A1 F12. Okay. So this is the space resistance. Okay. So already we have derived the equation for the surface resistance. If the surface was in general radiation, then it will be the same thing. So the surface resistance is the same thing. Surface resistance is the same thing. If you have a plate, then you have a space. Then you have to do the same thing. So what? You have to do the same thing. Okay, so for the space resistance, what is the equation 1 upon A1 F12 and for the surface resistance, what is the equation 1 minus epsilon divided by epsilon into A. So by using this equation, we have to calculate the surface resistance and space resistance. So now already we have one draw one diagram that is plate 1, plate 2, A1, T1, epsilon 1. So for this diagram, how to write the resistances? How many resistances are there? Can anyone tell me? Jata upon diagram ke lile. Hey, question solve kar raha sati. Makchis lad gaya sir. Take the back side of the earlier. Okay. So in this diagram, now we have to calculate the resistances. So how many resistances are there? Outside la insulation as a consider kara. 
then how many resistances are there for this diagram can anyone tell me or put that answer in the chat box how many resistances are there for this particular geometry anyone jar he kunala sangta ala tar manje tumhala surface resistance ani space resistance samajla asa tyacha arth asnar hai how many resistances are there ek plate hai ek plate chi outside cha surface hai to insulated kelela hai pan atla surface madun heat transfer honar hai ओके देन दुसरी प्लेट है आतला सरपेस जो है तथा हिट ट्रांसफर होना है बाहर से सरपेस इन्सुलेशन के लिए स्पेस है ओके सो हाउ मेनी रेजिस्टन्सेज आर देअर एंड विच रेजिस्टन्सेज आर देअर कैन एनी वन टेल मी अन्यूट युअर सेल्फ एंड टेल मी द आंसर फॉर दिस एनी वन एनी वन टेल मी हाउ मेनी रेजिस्टन्सेस फॉर दिस डायग्राम and which resistances are there hmm ubale anyone kunala samajh nahi ka tanashree okay ya sare outputted the answer three resistances are there okay answer is correct three resistances are there but which resistances are there three out of three space how many space resistances are there and how many surface resistances are there okay there are two surfaces so therefore two surface resistances are there and there is a only one space in between two plates are there so only one space resistance is there okay सो नेक्स्ट लाइन या सर नेक्स्ट लाइन समझ लगा बार हा जोमेट्री सा दोन सरफेस रेजिस्टन्स है एक स्पेस रेजिस्टन्स ओके आता समझा जर प्लेट या दोन साइड लगे इन्सुलेशन नर आर फोर सरफेस रेजिस्टन्सेस एंड वन स्पेस रेजिस्टन्स सो इन दैट वे वी हेव टू अंडरस्टैंड दी हाउ मेनी स्पेस रेजिस्टन्सेस आर देर हाउ मेनी सरफेस रेजिस्टन्स आर देर then we have to calculate the value of total resistance and from that we have to calculate the heat transfer okay so now draw this diagram net energy and we have to calculate the net energy okay draw this diagram same diagram is there two plates are there plate number 1 plate number 2 at the outside there is a insulation okay and at the below of these two plates we have drawn one electrical diagram that is emissive power of a black body then what is the surface resistance then for this space resistance what is the boundary samajhte baka space resistance sathi numerator la kay hota j1 minus j2 hota manje jithe space resistance asnar hai tyacha boundary la j1 j2 asnar hai ja vela apan surface resistance find out kela tar tya vela surface resistance cha numerator la kay hota baka e minus j hota what is the value eb minus j okay so in that manner we have to draw the electric diagram okay electric circuit diagram okay so eb1 and j1 in between surface resistance is there and in between j1 and j2 there is a space resistance and in between j2 and eb2 there is a surface resistance okay so what is the equation for the surface resistance that is 1 minus epsilon divided by a into epsilon so for the plate 1 we have to take the suffix as a 1 so 1 minus epsilon 1 divided by a1 epsilon 1 then what is the space resistance what is the equation for the space resistance that is 1 upon a1 f12 and what is the surface resistance that is 1 minus epsilon 2 divided by a2 epsilon 2 okay so write down the equation q122 is equal to so for this whole geometry we have to write down the equation okay So all of you write down the equation for this geometry. What is the rate of heat transfer? Q12 is equal to write down equation Q12 is equal to 
EB1 minus EB2 divided by three resistances are there. Write down R surface 1 plus R space plus R surface 2. Okay, three resistances are there. Two resistance because of the surface and one resistance because of this space. So all resistance we have to take at the denominator that is R surface 1 plus R space plus R surface 2. Okay, so then put the values of the resistances. So Q12 is equal to, write down Q12 is equal to EB1 minus EB2, EB1 minus EB2 divided by, so surface resistance for plate 1, what is the equation for that? So in the electrical diagram, we have written that values. So write down the surface resistance for the plate 1. What is the equation for that? 1 minus epsilon 1 divided by A1 into epsilon 1. Okay. 1 minus epsilon 1 divided by A1 into epsilon 1 plus 1 upon A1 F12 plus 1 upon A1 F12 1 upon A1 F12 plus 1 minus epsilon 2 divided by epsilon 2 A2. This is the surface resistance of the plate 2. That is 1 minus epsilon 2. Epsilon 2 means that the plate 2 is emissivity. A2 means that the plate 2 is surface area. Okay. So in that way, we have to write down the equation. Q12 is equal to EB1 minus EB2 divided by 1 minus epsilon 1 divided by e epsilon 1 A1 plus 1 upon A1 F12 plus 1 minus epsilon 2 divided by epsilon 2 A2. Okay. So EB1 is nothing but emissive power of a black body. And we know that Stephen Boltzmann law. Emissive power of a black body is directly proportional to fourth power of the temperature. Okay. So what is the equation for that? So EB1 is equal to sigma into T1 raised to 4. And EB2 is nothing but sigma into T2 raised to 4. Sigma into T2 raised to 4. So by putting that values into this equation, instead of EB1, we have to put the sigma T1 raised to 4. And instead of EB2, we have to put the sigma T2 raised to 4. So we have to take the common as a sigma. So what is the remaining term in the equation? That is T1 raised to 4 minus T2 raised to 4. Okay. So all of you write down the equation. Q12 is equal to Q12 is equal to sigma into bracket T1 raised to 4 minus T2 raised to 4. Sigma T1 raised to 4 minus T2 raised to 4 divided by write down the summation of the all resistances write down the in the form of equation that is 1 minus epsilon 1 divided by epsilon 1 a1 plus 1 upon a1 f12 plus 1 minus epsilon 2 divided by epsilon 2 a2 1 minus epsilon 2 divided by epsilon 2 into a2 Okay, so this is the net heat transfer. So here particular geometry sati apan kai ke lela hai net energy find out ke lela. Maje kiti heat transfer ho na raha hai. Samjha ekadhi geometry hai. In that geometry suppose two space resistances are there and five surface resistances are there. At that time total seven resistances are at the denominator. So in that way we have to change that particular equation. Okay. जे काय रेजिस्टन्स आहे जेवढे काय रेजिस्टन्स असणार आहेत त्याच्यानुसार तुम्हाला डिनोमिनेटरला रेजिस्टन्सेस ऍड करावे लागतील त्याच्यानुसार तुमचं इक्वेशन काय होणार आहे चेंज होणार आहे ओके सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट वी हैव टू चेंज द इक्वेशन हाउ मेनी रेजिस्टन्सेस आर देयर देन वी हैव टू टेक विद दैट मच टर्म्स इन द डिनोमिनेटर म्हणजे पाच रेजिस्टन्स असतील तर पाच टर्म डिनोमिनेटरला येणार आहेत सात रेजिस्टन्स असतील तर सात टर्म डिनोमिनेटरला येणार आहेत सो इन दैट वी हैव टू चेंज दैट पर्टिक्युलर इक्वेशन वी हैव टू चेंज दैट पर्टिक्युलर equation then add on next slide okay right on multiplying multiplying numerator and denominator by a1 multiplying multiplying numerator and denominator by a1 multiplying numerator and denominator by a1 okay 
न्यूमरेटर लिनामिनेटर लाने मल्टीप्लाय करना है ए वन न मल्टीप्लाय करना है ओके सो क्यू वन टू इज इक्वल टू क्यू वन टू इज इक्वल टू सो मल्टीप्लाय बाय ए वन एट दूमरेटर सो सिग्मा ए वन टी वन रेस टू फोर माइनस टी टू रेस टू फोर सिग्मा ए वन इंटू ब्रैकेट टी वन रेस टू फोर माइनस टी टू रेस टू फोर डिवाइडेड बाय सो फॉर द फर्स्ट टर्म इफ वी आर मल्टीप्लाइंग बाय ए वन सो ए वन ए वन विल बी कैंसल सो व्हाट इज द रिमेनिंग टर्म दैट इज वन माइनस एप्सलॉन वन डिवाइडेड बाय एप्सलॉन वन प्लस इफ वी आर मल्टीप्लाइंग बाय ए वन देन ए वन ए वन विल बी कैंसल सो व्हाट इज द रिमेनिंग टर्म दैट इज वन अपॉन एफ वन टू वन अपॉन एफ वन टू प्लस सो एट द लास्ट टर्म वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय ए वन सो वन माइनस एप्सलॉन टू डिवाइडेड बाय एप्सलॉन टू इनटू ए वन बाय ए टू a1 by a2 so all of you write on this equation okay then we have to write down the equation in the form of factor in the form of factor okay so write down the equation in the factor so therefore q12 is equal to f sub x g 122 a1 sigma t1 raised to 4 Minus t two raised to four. Okay, a one sigma t one raised to four minus t two raised to four. So, what is that value of factor? So, in that, what is the value of factor? So, where f g one two two is equal to write down that factor one upon one minus epsilon one divided by epsilon one. Plus one upon f one two plus one minus epsilon two divided by epsilon two a one upon a two, and this factor is nothing but gray body factor. Okay, so write down this f g one two two write down that gray body factor. What is the equation for the gray body factor? All of you write down. Okay, so this is the gray body factor. What is the equation for the gray body factor? That is one upon one minus epsilon one divided by epsilon one plus one upon a upon two plus one minus epsilon two divided by epsilon two into a one upon a two. So this is the gray body factor. Okay, the next slide. Okay, so when exchange of heat takes place between two black surfaces. then surface resistance becomes zero okay javel apan ata apan grip surfaces consider kele tar tithe black surfaces asel tar surface resistance kay honar hai zero honar hai ka surface resistance zero honar hai because what is the equation for the surface resistance that is 1 minus epsilon divided by epsilon into a so for the black body emissivity is equal to 1 so 1 minus 1 numerator becomes zero so therefore that surface resistance becomes Zero. So all of you write down when when exchange of heat takes place when exchange of heat 
takes place between between exchange of heat takes place between two black surfaces between two black surfaces between two black surfaces full stop next line surface resistance becomes zero surface resistance surface resistance becomes zero samajh le surface resistance zero hona hai means what is the equation for the surface resistance that is 1 minus epsilon divided by epsilon into a ओके एप्सॉन म्हणजे इमिसिविटी ब्लॅक बॉडी साठी इमिसिविटी काय असते म्हणते आपण वन असते म्हणजे वन मायनस वन सो न्युमिरेटर बिकम्स झिरो सो देअर फोर सर्फेस रेझिस्टन्स बिकम्स झिरो ओके सो सर्फेस रेझिस्टन्स बिकम्स झिरो इन ब्रॅकेट बिकॉज ऑफ व्हॉट दिस सर्फेस रेझिस्टन्स बिकम्स झिरो दॅट इज इमिसिविटी इ वन एप्सॉन वन इज इक्वल टू एप्सॉन टू इज इक्वल टू वन ओके इमिसिटी वन असल्यामुळे सर्फेस रेझिस्टन्स काय होणार आहे झिरो होणार आहे ओके सो एफ जी वन टू टू चेंजेस हा जो ग्रे बॉडी फॅक्टर आहे तो कशामध्ये कन्व्हर्ट होणार आहे इट इज कन्व्हर्टेड इन टू शेप फॅक्टर दॅट इज एफ वन टू टू ओके सो ऑलरेडी वी हॅव डिराव्ह दिस इक्वेशन ऑलरेडी आपण ब्लॅक सर्फेसेस कन्सिडर करून त्याच्यासाठी एक इक्वेशन फायनल केलेलं आहे तर ह्या ग्रे बॉडी मध्ये जर आपण ब्लॅक बॉडीचं इक्वेशन जर पुट केलं तर आपल्याला तेच इक्वेशन परत मिळते ओके सो राईट डाऊन एफ जी वन टू चेंजेस एफ वन टू F one two, F one two. So write down. Therefore, Q net is equal to Q net is equal to Q net is equal to F one two into A one sigma T one raised to four minus T two raised to four. So this is the equation for the black surfaces. Upon black surface, that is. सेपरेटली इक्वेशन डिराव केलं त्यावेळेला आपण आपल्याला हेच इक्वेशन मिळालेलं आहे आपण आता काय केलं ग्रे बॉडीचं इक्वेशन डिराव केलं त्याच्यामध्ये ब्लॅक बॉडीसाठी इमिसिटी वन असते ती व्हॅल्यू फक्त पुट केल्या सो बाय पुटिंग दॅट व्हॅल्यू वी गेट दि सेम इक्वेशन ओके सो नेट ही ट्रान्सफर क्यू नेट इज इक्वल टू एफ वन टू ए वन सिग्मा टी वन रेस टू फोर मायनस टी टू रेस टू फोर ओके क्यू नेट इज इक्वल टू एफ वन टू टू ए वन सिग्मा टी वन रेस टू फोर मायनस टी टू रेस टू फोर ओके सो दिस इज दी नेट ही ट्रान्सफर फॉर दी ब्लॅक सर्फेसेस आणि ऑलरेडी आपण जे इक्वेशन बघितलेलं क्यू वन टू टू सिग्मा टी वन रेस टू फोर मायनस टी टू रेस टू फोर डिवायडेड बाय सम ऑफ दी रेझिस्टन्स जेवढे काय रेझिस्टन्स असतील सर्फेस असेल तर सर्फेसचं इक्वेशन लिहायचं स्पेस रेझिस्टन्स असेल तर स्पेसचं इक्वेशन लिहायचं आणि जेवढे काय रेझिस्टन्स असतील तेवढी इक्वेशन लिहायचे आहेत अँड बाय युझिंग दॅट वी हॅव टू कॅल्क्युलेट दी नेट ही ट्रान्सफर बिटवीन दी ग्रे बॉडीज ज्यावेळेला ग्रे बॉडीज असतील त्यावेळेला ते इक्वेशन युज करायचं अँड इफ ब्लॅक बॉडीज आर देअर देन वी हॅव टू यूज दिस इक्वेशन दॅट इज क्यू नेट इज इक्वल टू एफ वन टू ए वन सिग्मा टी वन रेस टू फोर मायनस टी टू रेस टू फोर ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट दी हिट एक्सचेंज बिटवीन ग्रे बॉडीज अँड हिट एक्सचेंज बिटवीन दी ब्लॅक बॉडीज ओके ज्यावेळेला हिट एक्सचेंज होणार आहे ग्रे बॉडीमधून त्यावेळेला नेट हिट ट्रान्सफर कसा फाइंड आउट करायचा किंवा दोन ब्लॅक बॉडीज असतील त्याच्यामध्ये काहीतरी नेट हिट ट्रान्सफर होणार आहे तो कसा फाइंड आउट करायचा सो फॉर दॅट we have to use this equations we have to use this equations okay then write down the next line cases now we have to consider the different cases okay so give the heading cases in that we have to consider case number 1 okay now we have to consider the different cases in that we have to consider the case number 1 case number 1 case number 1 okay so write down the case number 1 what is the case number 1 when when the radiating bodies are infinite when the radiating bodies when the radiating bodies are infinite parallel planes mhanje ja kai energy radiate karnara don body hai ya ja vela infinite parallel planes madhe astil mhanje tanchi length infinite hai ani te ekmekanna parallel astil तर त्या केसमध्ये इक्वेशन मध्ये काय चेंज होणार आहे वी हॅव टू राईट डाऊन दॅट इक्वेशन ओके वेन दी रॅडिएटिंग बॉडीज आर इन्फायनाइट पॅरलेल प्लेन्स म्हणजे दोन्ही इन्फायनाइट लेनच्या आणि एकमेकाला पॅरलेल असलेल्या दोन प्लेट आहेत आणि त्याच्यामध्ये हिट एक्सचेंज होत्या तर त्या केसमध्ये व्हॉट इज द चेंज इन दॅट पर्टिक्युलर इक्वेशन टू राईट डाऊन 
ओके सो ज्यादा दोनों प्लेट पैरल दोनों इन्फाइनेट आना है वेला एरिया का सो so, देर फोर राइट डाउन ए वन इज इक्वल टू ए टू ए वन इज इक्वल टू ए टू एंड शेप फैक्टर का ऑलरेडी अपन शेप फैक्टर से वेग इक्वेशन बगल ज्यादा पैरल प्लेट्स आती शेप फैक्टर का वन टू टू दैट इज वन सो राइट डाउन ए वन इज इक्वल टू ए टू एंड यफ वन टू टू इज इक्वल टू वन ओके so whatever the gray body factor we have calculated in that gray body factor we have to put these values gray factor gray body factor kya apna one divided by one minus epsilon one divided by epsilon one plus one upon f one two plus one minus epsilon two divided by epsilon two a one a two here equation mein apna kya put kare sa a one a two zar put kela tar a one by a two zar value one hona rahe okay and f one two two zar value one put kare sa so we get the equation as a वन माइनस एप्सलॉन वन प्लस वन माइनस एप्सलॉन टू मैनस वन चेक करा सग वैल्यू बरबर ये का बगा चेक दैट वैल्यू ग्रे बॉडी फैक्टर से इक्वेशन लिखे है अपन सो इन दैट इक्वेशन वी हेव टू पुट दी ए वन इज इक्वल टू ए टू ओके सो बाय सीम्प्लिफिकेशन वी गेट दी ग्रे बॉडी फैक्टर एज ए वन डिवाइडेड बाय वन अपॉन एप्सलॉन वन Plus one upon epsilon two minus one. One upon epsilon one plus one upon epsilon two minus one. Okay, so this is the case number one. So, मतलब क्या बोला case number one case नरे दोन parallel plate आये तें चीले इन infinite आये तें एक में कहना parallel स्थिल तर त्याग case में द आप लला gray body factor find out करें जब मुझे जी का equation है हाँ gray body factor त्याग से equation में द अपन put करो दे मुझे equation मध्य अपने का वैल्यू पुट करा लगते ए वन इज इक्वल टू ए टू एंड यफ वन टू टू इज इक्वल टू वन सो बाय पुटिंग दिस वैल्यू वी गेट दी ग्रे बॉडी फैक्टर एंड व्हाट इज दी वैल्यू ऑफ ग्रे बॉडी फैक्टर दैट इज वन अपॉन वन अपॉन एप्सलॉन वन प्लस वन अपॉन एप्सलॉन टू माइनस वन ओके वन अपॉन वन अपॉन एप्सलॉन वन प्लस वन अपॉन एप्सलॉन टू माइनस वन ओके सो दिस इज दी ग्रे बॉडी फैक्टर फॉर दी केस नंबर वन देन राइट डाउन केस नंबर टू नेक्स्ट लाइन केस नंबर टू केस नंबर टू केस नंबर टू ओके व्हेन व्हेन द रेडिएटिंग बॉडीज आर कॉन्सेंट्रिक सिलेंडर्स और स्पेयर व्हेन द रेडिएटिंग बॉडीज व्हेन द रेडिएटिंग बॉडीज आर कॉन्सेंट्रिक सिलेंडर्स और स्पेयर्स व्हेन द रेडिएटिंग बॉडीज आर कॉन्सेंट्रिक सिलेंडर्स और स्पीयर्स कॉन्सेंट्रिक सिलेंडर्स और स्पीयर्स ओके सो एज वी नो दैट इफ देर आर कॉन्सेंट्रिक सिलेंडर्स आर देर देन व्हाट इज द शेप फैक्टर यफ वन टू टू इज इक्वल टू वन अपने ये महत्ते है कारण शेप फैक्टर के मे साइलेंट फीचर्स अपन बैले सो इन दैट वी हेव सीन वन प्रॉब्लम फॉर दैट दैट इज फॉर दी कॉन्सेंट्रिक सिलेंडर्स एंड For the concentric cylinders, what is the value of shape factor? That is, yep, one two two is equal to one. Okay, so we have to put that value into gray body factor. So what, whatever the equation of the gray body factor, in that equation we have to put the value of yep one two two is equal to one. So therefore, equation becomes equation becomes equation becomes. Equation becomes. Can we write equation one divided by one minus epsilon one divided by epsilon one plus one plus one minus epsilon two divided by epsilon two a one upon a two. Okay. So this is the equation when the two radiating bodies are concentric cylinders or spheres are there. Okay. So if concentric cylinders are there, then different areas are there. Whatever the ratio of a one by a two, that ratio will be different. And for the concentric spheres, a one by a two, that value will be different. So we have to find out that a one by a two for the concentric cylinder and concentric sphere. So all of you are done. In case of concentric cylinder, in case of concentric cylinder, write down that equation.
okay in case of concentric cylinder a1 by a2 so what is the surface area of the inside cylinder that is pi into d1 into l and what is the surface area of the outside cylinder that is pi into d2 into l so pi l pi l will be cancelled so d1 by d2 that is nothing but r1 by r2 so in case of concentric cylinder what is the value of a1 by a2 that is nothing but r1 by r2 आपल्याला जर डायरेक्ट रेसर रेशू दिला असेल तर आपण तो डायरेक्ट घेऊ शकतो इन्स्टेड ऑफ वी हॅव टू कॅल्क्युलेट दी ए वन वी हॅव टू कॅल्क्युलेट दी ए टू देन वी हॅव टू टेक द रेशो इन्स्टेड ऑफ दॅट वी हॅव टू टेक डायरेक्टली आर वन बाय आर टू ओके सो दिस इज दी व्हॅल्यू ऑफ ए वन बाय ए टू फॉर दी कॉन्सेंट्रिक सिलेंडर देन वी हॅव टू कन्सिडर दी इन केस ऑफ कॉन्सेंट्रिक स्पियर राईट डाऊन इन केस ऑफ कॉन्सेंट्रिक स्पियर ए वन बाय ए टू इज इक्वल टू इन केस ऑफ कॉन्सेंट्रिक स्पियर in case of concentric sphere a1 by a2 is equal to a1 by a2 is equal to 4 pi r1 square divided by 4 pi r2 square surface area ka asnar sphere cha 4 pi r1 square outside sphere cha ka asnar 4 pi r2 square so 4 pi 4 pi will be cancelled so what is the remaining equation that is r1 square by r2 square what is the ratio for the concentric sphere that is a1 by a2 is equal to r1 square by r2 square r1 square by r2 square okay r1 square by r2 square so this is the case number 2 samajh laya baka case number 2 kay concentric cylinder kiwa concentric sphere asel tar tya time la jo kay shape factor hai 1 2 2 yep 1 2 2 ti value kay asnar hai 1 asnar hai and we have put it this value into the gray body factor and we have to simplify that equation and by simplifying that equation we get the gray body factor as a 1 divided by 1 minus epsilon 1 divided by epsilon 1 plus 1 plus 1 minus epsilon 2 divided by epsilon 2 into a1 by a2 so for the calculation of a1 by a2 we have calculated the ratio of this so a1 by a2 is nothing but r1 by r2 for the concentric cylinder and a1 by a2 for the concentric sphere that is r1 square by R2 square, R1 square by R2 square. Okay, so this is the case number two. Okay, then write down case number three. Then write down case number three. Case number three. Okay, write down case number three. When when a small body lies, when a small body lies inside a large enclosure, when a small body lies when a small body lies inside a large enclosure mujhe ka motya body madhe choti body asnar hai okay when a small body lies inside a large enclosure when a small body lies inside a large enclosure okay ashi case ja vela asnar hai so i have drawn one diagram there is a small body that is body number 1 there is a large body body number 2 so body number 1 is enclosed in body number 2 so for this case what is the shape factor 1 2 2 2 je 1 kodun je kai transfer honar hai ti sagli 2 varti strike honar hai so therefore what is the shape factor from 1 2 2 that is f 1 2 2 is equal to 1 ani ha jo a1 area asnar hai whatever the small body having area is very less as compared to the a2 so a1 is less than less than a2 ओके जर एरिया ए वन जर फार कमी अल एज कम्पेर्ड टू ए टू देन एप्रॉक्सिमेटली दैट रेशो ए वन बाय टू टेन्स टू जीरो देर फोर ए वन बाय ए टू टेन्स टू जीरो राइट डाउन ए वन बाय टू टेन्स टू जीरो ए वन एरिया जर एकदम कमी अल ए टू एकदम जास्त अल सो फॉर दैट केस वी हेव टू कन्सिडर दैट ए वन बाय ए टू टेन्स टू जीरो ए वन बाय ए टू टेन्स टू जीरो सो नाउ वी हेव टू put this value into the gray body factors dekha apna gray body factors se equation hai in that equation we have to put this value that is f 1 2 2 is equal to 1 f 1 2 2 is equal to 1 and a 1 by a 2 is equal to 0 okay so we have to put this values into that equation f 1 2 2 is equal to 1 and a 1 by a 2 is equal to 0 so by putting this values by putting this value we get the equation of the gray body factor and what is that equation gray body factor 1 to 2 is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus epsilon 1 divided by epsilon 1 plus 1 
okay so what is the gray body factor for this case number 3 when a small body lies inside a large enclosure when a small body lies inside a large enclosure so for that case what is the gray body factor that is f g 1 to 2 is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus epsilon 1 divided by epsilon 1 plus 1 so this is the case number 3 तो मतलब एखाद इक्वेशन मे तुम्हारा जर हे केसेस दिल तो अकॉर्डिंग टू केसेस वै हेव टू चेंज दैट पर्टिक्युलर इक्वेशन एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू चेंज वै हेव टू यूज दैट इक्वेशन एंड फाइंड आउट दी रेट ऑफ हिट ट्रांसफर फाइंड आउट दी रेट ऑफ हिट ट्रांसफर सो दीज आर दी थ्री केसेस इन्फाइनाइट पार्लर प्लेन्स आर देअर इफ कॉन्सेंट्रिक सिलिंडर्स आर देअर एंड वेन ए स्मॉल बॉडी लाइज ए इन साइड ए लार्ज एनक्लोजर सो फॉर दैट दैट इज दी केस नंबर थ्री ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट दी what is mean by surface resistance what is the what is mean by space resistance what is the equation of the net heat transfer and then what are the different cases and according to the cases what are the different equations so this is the part that we have covered in the today's lecture that is morning lecture and this lecture we have covered this part okay so in the next lecture we have to consider the or we have to cover the next part that is radiation shield ओके दोन सर्फे मध्य अपन एक रेडिएशन शील्ड घेर है एंड फॉर दैट वी हेव टू कंसिडरिंग दी फाइंडिंग द इक्वेशन फॉर दैट ओके सो ऑल ऑफ यू पुट युअर रोल नंबर इन दी चैट बॉक्स सो नेक्स्ट लेक्चर इज इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड कंट्रोल मोरे सर लेक्चर है नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ओके सो ऑल ऑफ यू पुट युअर रोल नंबर ओके या सर एट वन फोर्टी फाइव वी हेव टू स्टॉप द रेकॉर्डिंग I I will convey two message to you. At that time, we have to stop the recording. ओके या सर स्टॉप रिकॉर्डिंग आई हैव टेकन द अटेंडेंस एंड लीव द मीटिंग ऑल ऑफ यू जॉइन द नेक्स्ट